Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma Lafave, and today we are going to be creating tiny landscape paintings. So let's jump right in and start. Okay, so today we're gonna to be doing a fun little challenge of painting teeny tiny landscapes. I have a grid of two inch squares that I just taped off with some painter's tape. Well, it's like masking tape, but really thin. I love the stuff, it was on Amazon. I'll see if I can link it. Um, but yeah, so I just did two inch squares and we are gonna to try to paint tiny landscapes. Why are we doing this? Why, why, why? Um, Honestly, I find painting small a lot less stressful than doing a large piece. I find it's a great exercise to do. One, it's good for your hand to kind of, you know, get into the habit of creating tiny details. Um, but also, I feel like it's just you don't have to add as much detail when it's tiny, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? If you were to blow it up into this big, large piece, if you do you know, not as many elements and all that stuff. It can look bare, but the smaller it is, you can kind of way, kind of get away with doing less. So, and I'm all about doing less and quick and fast. So that's what we're doing today. Also, this is going to give us a good opportunity to come up with different, you know, ideas for landscapes. So I don't have any reference photos with me for this. So I'm just going to be kind of making it up as I go along. I don't really have too many ideas. Um, I'm going to try and paint as many different skies as I can um, and just playing around and just try and make them as different as I can, but we're, we're going to see how this goes. So I'm painting in my Etcher Lab cold press watercolor sketchbook. I have my Winsor Newton professional watercolors with me. I have my Emma Lefebvre craft demo brushes in a size 12, 6, and 2 round. Um, water, paper towel, and then I have extra paper towel just to do some blotting if I want to do that so let's let's just jump in maybe we'll do even some seasonal stuff so I'm gonna start off with a size 6 because I feel like my size 12 is gonna be way too big and I'm gonna do a nice blue summer sky and for that I'm just gonna use some Windsor blue I'm gonna do a light wash and I'm just going to go across and I'm going to take my time this is also another great way like you don't have to worry too much if you want to do wet on wet you don't have to worry about hurrying up too much because you're not focusing on this large area where you're going to be too nervous if it's going to dry too fast you know what I mean so you can kind of take a bit more time with this so I'm just going to do a nice blue sky and I'm just going to dab around some of these areas just so I can leave a little bit of white space and I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm just going to create a little thing so I can just blot and lift for some clouds. Okay. Maybe make it a little bit thinner and just do some thin clouds along the bottom. I don't know. Okay, might even actually pull up some of that just with a clean, damp brush. Okay, and now I'm going to create some grass. Let's just get some sap green. Just do, should I do some hills? I don't know. I feel like I'm just going to start off, I'm going to start off slow here with just like a flat simple landscape no hills or anything too crazy I'm actually gonna add some yellow further away oh actually recently recently when we were driving to my in-laws I saw I'm gonna do some trees back here these fields of just yellow flowers. So I'm just gonna take some sap green here and just do some trees in the background. And it's just this field of yellow. It was so beautiful. So I think I might do that. 
gonna grab some more yellow, it's just some cadmium yellow. Just who says grass has to be green? It could be a field of yellow flowers. Maybe it can be a bit more green closer. I'm going to take my smaller brush. I'm going to grab some more yellow. I'm just going to do some dots like it's a field of yellow flowers. Maybe get a bit of green. Just a little bit of green for some contrast. I'm also going to get some brown for the trunks of those trees in the background. Not, I don't want it too dark though. And then a little bit of dark green for underneath those trees. A little bit of shadow. Do some trees that have leaves up here. See, it's small, but there's still a little bit of detail, right? Grab my green. Like that. Like that. I feel like the field needs a bit more, I don't know, depth or something. It's like too yellow. I don't know. I think that's pretty good though. Simple and straight to the point. Okay, so there's our first one. Okay, let's do a moody dark sky maybe um kind of like my five minute landscape one that i did oops something dropped just kind of feeling like a nice moody sky here I'm just gonna make it lighter as we get to the horizon line just using some paints gray try not to get it onto the other landscapes or the other squares Some more color and just kind of have these dark clouds coming in. This dark wall of clouds. <laughs> Darker shadows. That looks a little messy, but that's okay. I'm just going to pull in some of it out, clean it up a bit. Like that. Let's get some grass in there. I'm going to do some perline green, nice and dark. Some trees, look any more. I'm 
gonna grab my smaller brush. Get a bit more of that color. And just do some evergreen trees in the background kind of, and it's still wet in the sky, so you're getting like this blurry kind of effect. Like that. Something super simple and easy. Okay, let's do, let's do water. Let's do a lake. Um, I'm going to do, should I do sunset? Yeah, let's do a sunset. Okay, so I'm going to start off with yellow. That's a lot of yellow. Lighten it up a bit. I'm going to do a little circle for the sun. And it's not going to be directly in the center. I'm just going to blend it out a bit. Okay. Ah, that didn't work out as well. That's fine. Okay. Just getting it a bit more dark. Let's get some pink. Blend it in to make some orange. It's a bit too bright, that's okay. I'm going to grab some blue up here for some clouds. Gonna turn kind of purple. Just get a bit more purpley. If you ever see me wiping my brush on my paper towel a lot, I'm just taking off some of the pigment. Like I have too much on my brush, so that's why I wipe it a lot. Grab a bit of orange. Some clouds that are down here. Just trying to blend it all out a bit. Like that. Okay. And then the water. I'm going to do like an indigo, like a dark color it's at sunset but I also want some of that yellow in the water so I gotta wet it up make it a little lighter lift up some of that color I'm gonna grab a bit of yellow put some of that in the water so it's kind of mirroring what's in the sky, a bit of pink. I know it looks weird. I'm going to add the blue again. I'm going to take up some of this paint right down the center. Like that. Now I'm going to take my Small brush, I'm gonna take my indigo again, maybe with a bit of Payne's Gray. And I'm just gonna start doing some waves. Again, it doesn't have to be too detailed because it's super tiny. <laughs> And as you get further back, they're going to get smaller. Or you don't even have to see them, to be honest. <laughs> Just 
just a few waves up front like that. That's pretty good. I like it. Okay, I am going to wet up my paints just a bit more because they're all pretty dry. Okay, let's do like a fall landscape now. Um, I feel I'm, I'm excited for fall. I'm going to do kind of like a grayish sky. So just like a light Payne's gray up top. Like that, just to start. Darker at the top and then slowly getting lighter. I think I'm going to do some, mm, no, <laughs> I'm going to do this like orangey color. For the bottom and then add some green. We're going to see where this goes because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> But I want some of the orange to act like it's fallen leaves. So I'm going to kind of, it's a lot of water. It's okay though. This one's more of an abstract one. I'm going to try and dry that up a bit. Okay, I want that to dry. I feel like I can add like some clouds in here. Just a little, nah, maybe not. <laughs> okay, that that's looking pretty pretty beat. Um, hmm. We're gonna start over again by lifting up this color. Doop. Watch this. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. That's when you just fix it. Like this. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm going to start off with the oops, the sky. It's too dark. Okay, I'm going to do the grass after. But I'm going to do some of the trees. Now I'm just going to lighten that up a bit. Okay. Now I'm going to take some orange. And I'm just going to start dropping it in. Like this. And then some red. And some yellow, and also some green, and get some sap green. Oh, too much water, no! Another trouble with working with smaller paintings sometimes, it's just like, oh, that's too much. Maybe get a darker green. Just kind of mixing it all together. Like that. And then we're going to take some brown. This one is not the greatest painting, but that's fine. And we're going to do some trunks, some tree trunks. And then some grass, like this. 
So there we go. That's what I wanted to do. And we will have some leaves falling down. I'm going to get darker as we go to the front. that. I'm going to grab my smaller brush, grab some orange, drop it where some of those orange trees are. Get some red. Yellow. I'm just gonna try and do the line of where it kind of stops. There we go. Just blend it out a bit. Got a bit more orange. A bit more red. Like that. Okay. I mean, that one's not the greatest, but that's fine. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's do some mountains. I'm going to start off with a blue sky. bit more bright blue at the top. Just a nice clear blue day. Actually, I'm going to take some of that up so we can do some mountains like that. Okay. We're going to leave that and let that dry and then we'll do some hills and stuff. I say we do, for our last one, let's do that like uh, lavender field kind of that I did before. So I'm going to do like a pinkish sky, I think. Pink. Hmm. Nope. Nope. I'm going to do yellow. Another, I'm doing another... Should have planned this out a bit better. Blend that together. Move up and it's going to be a bit more purpley. Grab a bit of purple, a little bit of gray, and we're going to do some clouds coming in like this. And then we're going to do some mountains. in the background. Like that. Oops. And then our lavender field. I'm gonna grab some pink gish purple to start. Lost some of that yellow in there. That's okay. Okay. And then grab some of my purple, maybe a little bit of blue. that. 
Okay, now let's do this one. Let's do like a yellowy green. Oops. Hill back here. Maybe we'll do a little, some trees on the top of that hill. Like that. And then I want to do another hill in front of it, so I'm going to let that dry quickly. Okay, it's dry. I'm going to do another hill. It's slightly darker. Like this. Maybe a couple trees on this hill. Like that. let that dry and then lastly I'm just gonna do one hill kind of close up like so like that maybe a little bit of grass or something just take my small brush or maybe we can do some like flowers or something Maybe I'll grab a little bit of white. Actually, let's use my Dr. Peach Martin's Bleed Proof White. Like there's some white flowers here. I think it needs to dry a bit too. Like that. It's dry. Can add a little bit more. Like that. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to the centers. Not even like there is like a center because it is not detailed. Make sure there's not a lot of water on your brush. Just little yellow dots like that like that. I feel like the trees in the back background don't even look like trees. There. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so there's our quick tiny little landscapes. Uh, do I love them all? No, I don't really like this one. Um, these two with the sunsets are pretty good. This one's kind of boring and these two are okay. Not too bad, um, but that was like a fun little quick exercise to do. And I actually enjoy painting small. I don't know why I felt like I had to do it so quick, but you can definitely take your time with this and just enjoy it. Um, but yeah, it's a great way to kind of play around with different types of landscapes, skies and all that stuff and just, you know, have fun. And there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day guys. Bye.